Ever since I first created the Founder Flex Key Entrepreneurship's Terms Flashcard Series, I frequently get asked how I did it. In this video, I'll show step-by-step -step how I use ChatGPT and Canva Magic Studio to do this in minutes using AI. Be sure to stay to the end to see how I confirm that everyone has internalized this important language. Let's get into it. I'll start with a problem that I wanted to solve. It's really important for students who are studying entrepreneurship, or really anyone who wants to understand the field, to learn the key definitions. But I don't like to give exams or high stakes quizzes since this can cause a lot of stress and often the terminology is just forgotten right after the test is over. My first experiment to address this problem was the Founder Flex flashcard series, which uses short form video to introduce and reinforce entrepreneurship vocabulary in ways that can be placed as YouTube shorts, TikToks, or Instagram reels for repetition and review. I use ChatGPT, Google Sheets, and the Canva Magic Studio to make this process fast and simple. Here's how I did it. Step one, create the content. Using ChatGPT, I generated a list of vocabulary terms for entrepreneurship. Of course, this took a number of attempts with a robust series of threads to train the AI on what I was looking for. I generated way more terms than I plan to use for now, but I decided to start with 30 terms, so I generated about twice that many and then narrowed down the list to those that best fit with the course content. As a side note, I also asked ChatGPT to help with the first draft of definitions, but I did a good bit of verification and editing since the videos have a learning purpose and I wanted to make sure that it really lined up with what the course was teaching. Step two, populate a spreadsheet. Now you may be saying, whoa, 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 why are we using a spreadsheet? I thought we were using AI. That's true, but by using a spreadsheet, we can format the data that's more quickly and easily understood and applied using AI tools. You could also use Excel or numbers um, just as easily, but I chose Google Sheets since I may wanna use this same content later with Bard or other Google AI tools. I have three pieces of dynamic data that I want to include in the video flashcard series. So there needs to be a column in the spreadsheet for each one of these. The first is the term number, the second is the word itself, and the third is the definition. Once I review, update, and confirm each of the terms and definitions, I'm ready to export the data from the spreadsheet as a .csv file, and I can save it so that it's ready to upload into Canva. Step three. Create the template video in Canva. So using the Canva Magic Studio, I can quickly locate a template that I like. I use, I, I often prompt for things like a TikTok video in vertical format that has um, words and definitions on it or uh, memes or sayings or quotes of the day. These are the kinds of things that will help it identify what I'm looking for. Then I'm gonna edit the template to include each of my data elements. So I'm going to list out that I have a key term number, the, the actual word itself and the definition, I'm gonna place those on the video. It helps to manually add in one of the definitions to help get the sizing and the fonts right the first time that you're getting set up. Step four, import the .csv file and map the data elements. So we're gonna select bulk import and we're gonna use the tools. If we're in Canva Magic Studio, we're gonna roll down to the bottom and we're gonna select bulk import and then we're gonna follow the prompts to import the file. Then once we select the file, we're going to be able to click on each of the data elements in the video and choose connect data. From there, we'll have the option to select each one of the data elements we have. So we'll be able to select the column name for each data element and the text box where it's going to be placed on the video. And then we'll finalize the process by clicking on generate. Step five, download a separate files. Now we're ready to, to click on share and download to pull the videos down so that we can use them on whatever channel we we're ready to post them on. Also, be sure to click on the box that says download as separate files. These will save in the down folder together as a zip file, and then you'll be able to open them up and use them as individual files. Step six, drop each file into a video editor and then add the talk track or video overlay to finalize the video. You can actually do this in Canva as well, but there aren't a lot of tools for editing in this way, so I prefer to use my regular video editor, Camtasia, and I use the video that I've made in, Can in Canva as a background, and then just record my talk track over top, and it's ready to go. That's it. While a lot of videos oversimplify this process, it is still deceptively simple, and after doing a few of them, it goes really quickly. Now, if you'd like to learn more about developing ideas and content for videos like this, check out my video, How to Develop 24 Videos in Minutes Using AI. Keep going.